What's up everyone? So, just got back from dropping off the koi. Threw in a plate go and an apple snail too. At their forever homes, or at least for now homes. It's at an office building. It's a really cool indoor setup. I didn't get to go inside and see the whole thing, but uh, I'll have my wife get me there sometime. I'll take some video. See if we can find my old fish, but yeah, blank slate. Just have it running to kind of keep these plants going. But, uh, yeah. Uh, probably end up put, moving these plants from this tank into here. I got this, uh, stone in here. From Aquarium Design Utah. Gonna go in there somehow. I'm trying to figure out if I want to keep that canister filter or not in there. Maybe cover it with stone just to keep the circulation and some additional filtration. I don't know. My other concern is the frogs. They're gonna get in this thing. Thinking about keeping it an open top. But, you know, obviously it's Florida, so Florida in the summertime is going to have a lot of evaporations, but there's a spigot right there, so it's not like that's my main issue. Main issue is uh, the sound of this waterfall and uh, all the frogs in Florida wanting to throw, to spawn. I never had an issue, or at least I didn't think I had an issue with the koi, but then again, the koi were pretty big and uh, could be kind of aggressive or territorial, so they might have eaten it, beaten them up, whatever. But I'm not, probably not going to have anything like that in here. It's going to be mostly plants and uh, aquascaping. Probably going to have some tetras, throw some random stuff in there. Whatever the hobby throws at me. But, uh, yeah, Link Slate. Got tons of ideas. First starting with the substrates, but, uh, I'll do separate videos and all that stuff. <clears throat> Got a ton of plants to figure out what to do with. I'm not sure if I'm going to break this tank down yet or not. Definitely this Amazon sword in the back is going to go out there. This one probably is too. I don't know. I might get rid of that one. And then I got this whole forest of crypts. I'm thinking about spreading out and letting it go out there. And then I got some dwarf sad. Should probably throw in there just to kind of, since I'm clearing stuff out. I might get some more crypts. But then again, I'm not going to put this vowel in there. I don't think yet. Thinking about getting rid of this thing because it's starting to rot and fall apart, and you know the thrill of it's over. It was a cool plant, but uh, might start with a blank slate. Might keep uh, the Bolivian rams in here. See if they can actually breed without the quarries and everything getting in their way. But uh, yeah. Kinds of new plans, new projects for the summer. Definitely. So I'm thinking about just leaving the lighting, like, you know, sunlight out here. I think that'd be kind of cool. Have a planted tank, might try it out. I mean, what better lighting than the sun? Might have be battling algae, though, so. I don't know. It'd be interesting. Anyways, I mean, it's, this is how bright it is in a rainstorm. So, that might be good. Anyways, thanks for watching.